Hello everyone, and welcome to another Random Bits and Pieces segment for my brain, and today, sit a while, for we are streaming for the very first time, Out of the Park Baseball 22. Alright, so I have put out a YouTube video, so that was just a recorded video that I made uh, to explain what we're doing here and the direction that this is going to take and whatnot. Uh, so definitely I'm looking for people to just, you know, connect and we can talk about baseball and whatnot. That's kind of the idea behind this. So this is a Montreal Expos historical that I started in 1991. Of course, I did not stream back then. So the team is very different than uh, what it was truly in 1994 and we won the first game in that video that I recorded we won it five to three in Houston so we're gonna go ahead and play game two here uh, still in Houston of course uh, we're gonna be facing Daryl Kyle and we are going to go with Oil Ken Boyd so let's get this started All right, <clears throat> let's see. So I'm going with the same lineup. Looks like they are as well. Lawton, Abreu, Gonzalez, Bagwell, Finley, Biggio, Santangelo, Mike Blowers. And of course, Daryl Kyle. All right, Daryl Kyle is 25 right now. All right, so. Yep, let's get this party started. All right, so we have the line with the shields here to start. Let's see how he's gonna do. Didn't get a hit in the first game. Two and two to the line. Am I gonna have the sounds? I should. Yeah, it might not be very, might not be very loud. Alrighty. <clears throat> Alright, so the shields grounded out, so now we're gonna go with Grissom. 1 1 to Grissom. And another grounder to the second baseman, and we are. we have two outs already. Right now, Calderon. 2 and 1 to even Calderon. Oh, that's a hit! Maybe a double even. Yep, all right. All right, so man on second, and hard hidden with him is gonna be at the plate now. One and oh. Oh, that's a hit. All right, I think Calderon's gonna score on that. Sure did. All right, so we're up one nothing. So for the second game in a row, we actually get uh, runs in the first inning. That's pretty good. All right, so Charles Johnson is going to come to bat now. Within his on first, there's two outs, one and two. And he is caught looking. All right, so we did score one run. So I think I might try and put a little bit of music in the background or something. Thing is, is I'm afraid it's going to affect the, the stream. So maybe not. What can I say? I cannot make up my mind. All right. So Oil Ken Boyd is the starter for us. He's been decent for me uh, since the start. Of course, we held on to him longer than the Expos did in real life. So he's going to face Matt Lawton, first batter for the Astros. Here at the bottom of the first. One and one to Lawton. Ground out to the second baseman. One out already. Abreu, three and one. Oh, 
face on balls. Not good. All right. So Luis Gonzalez, pretty dangerous hitter. Two and two. Oh, double play ball. Come on. Oh, we couldn't do it. All right, so one thing about Out of the Park Baseball, uh, the animation is, you know, with what was going on, it looked like my shortstop had time to uh, throw the first for the double play and everything, but the, the animation doesn't 100% of the time follow the play that the that the that the game has generated so sometimes that it's gonna give up uh, the impression that the shortstop is not trying or something uh, we didn't see any instances of that in the first game that i played that's the first time here all right so uh, guy on first with bagwell at the plate two and two. Oh, stolen base Luis Gonzalez stole the base. Now it's a full count on Bagwell with Gonzalez at second. And that's another base on balls. That's not good. <clears throat> Royal Can Boy needs to do better. You need to do better. Uh, Steve Finley. Alright. Men on first and second. Two outs. Steve Finley at the plate. Three and two. Ooh. I think Calderon's got it. Alright, so we're still up one that I'm I'm gonna try to put music in the background. And we'll see what happens. If the stream looks bad, I'll I'll stop it. The old way to shop for a mattress is just try them all. Yes, 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 totally yes we know, we know it's a commercial. I'm gonna reduce the volume a little bit. just want it as something in the background a little bit. There we go. Let's get back to this game. Brett Barbary is on is at the plate. Okay, one and oh. Oh and Barbary struggled in the first game too. All right, Bill Darren is at the plate two and two. Oh boy. So we had two batters and the ball didn't even get past the mound <laughs> so far. All right, Ray Sanchez, two and two to Sanchez. Oh, are you gonna beat it? No, you didn't. All right, so we go down one, two, three. Okay. All right, so we're facing Craig BGO here in the bottom of the second. The one and one to BGO. Uh, it's it up a ton, but right at Whitten. There's one out. FP Santangelo is next. One and O to Santangelo. Another one that should be cut, I would think. Oh, he dropped it. No, he didn't. Okay. It looked like he dropped the ball, but he didn't. Alright, so two outs. Mike Blowers. One and two to him. Oh, you're out. Strike out for. Dennis Boyd. <clears throat> right, so I can Boyd is at the plate. Oh, and two to him, and he strikes out, which is pretty much what I expected. Right, so the Shields is next. Right, the Shields still hasn't hit a hit. One and two to the Shields. 
And that's his first hit of the season. Good job. Alright, so that's a single. Now Grissom is at the plate with one out. The shield's at first. There's a good chance that he's gonna steal. Oh yeah, he's gonna get cut too. Yeah, he's out. Crap. Alright, so 1-0 and on Grissom. Two outs now. Grissom still without a hit this season. He started the same last year. Grissom was a very slow starter last year. Alright, so Daryl Kyle starts up the the Astros here in the bottom of this third already. One and two. Oh. Grounder to shortstop. That brings up Matt Lawton, who's 0 for 1 today. 0 and 1 to him. Yep, easy grounder to first. Doran takes care of that. Two outs. Bobby Abreu. 3 and 2 to Bobby Abreu. Oh, that's a hit. Yep, hit to center. All right, so Abreu gets on base with two outs. That's gonna bring Luis Gonzalez to bat. That man scares me. Three and one. Oh, good play. There you go. All right, so we get out of the period pretty easy here. I hope the I hope the music is not too loud. There, let's lower the volume just in case. Um, all right, so we have Ivan Calderon that's gonna be at bat. He's three for four so far this season. One and zero oh to Calderon. Oh, that's another hit. Oh my God, Calderon's on fire. That's another double too. Look at that. All right. Now Mark Withen comes to bat with Calderon at second. No outs. Oh yeah, he got uh, handcuffed there. That's a fly out to center. Calderon cannot move up. So one out. Calderon still at second. Charles Johnson comes to plate. Full count and it's a walk. Red Barbary. That would be a nice time for, a, for your first hit of the season here. One and two. Oh, yeah. Asking you're going to receive. That's going to be at least a double for Barbary there. Yep. That should uh, also have cleared the bases. We are up 3 nothing. Oh, yeah. Two run double for Barbary. Now Bill Doran comes to play. It was a line out to first. So Doran still doesn't have a hit this season. Him and Grissom are struggling. Ray Sanchez. Oh. Automatic. Intentional walk. Alright, so two outs. Runners on first and second. Oil can Boyd at bat. He is not a threat. Went two. And he strikes out again. Oh my god, that guy was ready to get to the dugout. <laughs> Zoo! Alright, Oi Can Boyd facing Jeff Bagwell's Oi Can Boyd. 53 pitches in three innings. Uh, he can still go. Keep in mind that the 90s pitchers are going deeper into games and whatnot. Although that's about the time where the mentality with relievers started to change a little bit. All right, so Bagwell, that's a hit. Second hit of the game for the Astros. No out with Steve Finley at bat. One and oh to Steve Finley. Oh, he tried to bunt and he missed it. One and one. And one. Oh, this time he bunted. All right. 
So keep in mind what I said about sometimes the animation doesn't 100% uh, represent the play. It looked like there was a play at second and it didn't throw there. So that's that's all it is, really. All right, so Craig BGO at bat. With a guy at second, two and two. Oh, I should be able to get that. Yes, the shields get the put the puck. I'm I'm too used to do hockey stuff. Sorry, <laughs> gets the ball, and uh, nobody advances. And now FP Santangelo is is in the batter box. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on! Infield it. Ah. All right, so runners uh, on extremities, two outs, and Mike Blowers is at bat. No count. Uh, we're allowing a run here. All right, so Blowers gets uh, it. It is now three to one. We still have runners on extremities with two outs, and now Daryl Kyle is at bat. O and one. Oh dear God, we have not been having a lot of luck with uh, opposing pitchers. P Tarnish in the first game hit a run scoring double, and now Daryl Cal hits a single, and we have runners on extremity still with two outs, and Matt Lawton is coming to bat. Right, that should end it. All right, we're set up three to two, but we did allow two. Two runs. Now we have the line with the shields at bat, so that would be nice to recoup a few runs here. Oh, and one to the shields. Oh, I thought maybe I would have a. I thought maybe I would get a an infield hit there. All right, so Grissom's going up to the plate. Two and two to Grissom. Oh, and he strikes out. Not good. Not good. Now Calderon. Now Calderon is having a, a, a pretty good start to the season. One and one. Oh, got robbed by Steve Finlay there. Oh, my. All right, so Calderon hits it hard, but uh, a nice defensive play by Steve Finley ends the inning. So now we're at the bottom of the fifth. We're still up one, Bobby Abreu's at bat. Two and two to Abreu. Okay, that should be uh, out. Yep, Witten gets it. All right, Luis Gonzalez, one and one. Grounder to second. There you go. Now Bagwell. No count. Oof. We're tied. <laughs> that's what that's what Bagwell can do to you. Alright, so we're tied at three. So Finley's uh, we're gonna face Finley two outs, one and one. All right, the inning is over. So they tied the game. So um, I got the game on Steam, and it was if you get it right now. Uh, there's a little bit of a discount since it just came out yes uh, today so it was $35 I think all right so Mark Witten is at bat hopefully he can respond here we need to take the lead back full count oh many walks Charles Johnson with a man at first, no outs here at the top of the sixth. Oh, with an went. 
Ah, got out. You're welcome, man. Great game. I I recommend getting it. All right. So Witten was cut stealing. Now we have Charles Johnson. O and one. Oh, that's a hit. Too bad that Witten couldn't steal the base. All right. Brett Barber is coming to the plate. One out. Charles Johnson at first. Full count. Oh, God. That wasn't a good pitch to it. All right. So, two outs. A man on second. Doran still doesn't have a hit this season. That would be a nice time to get one. Oh, and one. Uh, no, that's pretty routine to center. And we're done. All right, so that's 79 pitches. It is the 90s. I think you can go a little bit more. All right, so BGO at the plate. Three and one. Oh. That's a home run. And just like that, we're down. All right. Um... Let's pitch to Santangelo, two and two. Oh, well, that's another hit. Yikes, okay. Hey, FJ, how are you, man? Yes, finally, the game came out and I decided to do that. Oh, you might be kind enough to tell me if uh, you uh, you might be kind enough to tell me if the music is too loud. I've put some background music. Uh, of course, it's harder for me to tell than for somebody listening to me. Um, well, it's just the second game of the season, so I'm not sure yet how the Padres and the A's are doing. We can check after this game. So, all right, thanks. I I wasn't sure. But uh, thank you for that. All right, so I'm going to pitch to Blowers. 1-0. and oh. oh, dear God. Oh, Grissom with the diving catch. Awesome. Yeah, it's my historical with the Expos, so I don't know how that's going to go. I won the first game, 5-3. Did pretty good in that game. Right, I think I'm going to bring... Uh, What? So you got a uh, at and a beanie. Man, you need to save your money for that Danfoos jersey you were talking about. Oh, by the way, I saw that the abs traded for Eric Stahl today. Let's bring a reliever here. Let's see. I think I'm going to bring care again. There's a bunch of lefties coming in for that. Oh. I'm gonna bring Eat Ains. There we go. Oh god, tell me about it. You know, all the times that people tell me that the scents suck. Yeah. Just look in Buffalo, what's going on there? That's crazy. I eat Ains on Daryl Kyle. 0 and 1. One out, one guy at first. And of course, Kyle is gonna try to bunt. Now he's 0 and 2. All right, that's a strikeout. Yeah, I see that you're treating yourself a bit. Uh, are you treating yourself to celebrate uh, making it a partner? Oh, that's crazy what's going on in Buffalo. They had a lot of good picks, and things are just not going good there. Two and two to Matt Lawton. Oh, God, that's another hit. Oh, man. 
full count. I said in my first video that the pitching was going to be the demise of that team, and it looks like that's what might be happening. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's going to go to happen over there. Alright, so we get out of there, but we get out of that jam, but it's they got two more runs. Oh yeah, did you like him before he played for Montreal or or no? All right, Ray Sanchez at the plate. Two and one to Ray Sanchez. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Run, little guy, run. Ah. Right, we're going to bring a pinch hitter. I don't have any lefties. So I think we're going to... Yeah, let's go with Ruben Rivera again. And we'll see what happens after that. All right, so Ruben Rivera um, didn't do much in his first at bat in the first game. Uh, yeah, not surprised. That's okay. All right. Oh, three and one to Ruben Rivera. Oh, you got a you got a walk here. Alright, the line of the shields. No count. Oh, Rivera. Stolen base. Alright. We might be able to do something here. So one out. The shields at bat two and one. Oh. It was at art, but right at the left fielder. Alright, and Grissom. All right, two outs, Grissom at bat, with Rivera at second, one and two. Oh, God, Grissom is starting slow. See, I didn't even realize that Tokarski was playing for Buffalo. I guess it makes sense. They can't run a Carter Utton every game, I suppose. I think we're gonna give a couple innings maybe to Undorf. Hey, I have my uh, two most trusted followers with me at the same time. Yes, Expose, Nos Amours, won the first game against Houston 5 3. Now I'm do down 5 3 here in the bottom of the seventh. All right, so Bagwell hit a home run last time he was at bat. So 1-0 to Bagwell. Oh, my God, not another one. Yep, sure enough. <laughs> uh, no, they're going to move uh, into Washington in 2005. Now, my personal... Oh, God, I hate that I always leave my mouth in the middle of the screen. My personal goal when I started that was that I wanted to win the World Series before the Expos move, but of course I play as manager only, so I don't have control over the moves on my team. And like I said in my video that I recorded, I really like my offense. I think that I have a very well-diversified offense, but my pitching is going to kill me. All right. And I just want to say that they have improved 3D. I have never played with 3D in a, a OOTP. I never liked it, and I am digging it right now. I think that they made enough changes to it and everything that it looks really good. I mean, let's, you know, let's be a... Let's be serious here. Of course, it's not going to look like, you know, MLB The Show or anything like that. But I think that it looks really good. I really like the changes they made. All right. So we're down 6-3. Finley is going to uh, bat here. No count. Oh, boy. Yeah, I wanted to maybe give a couple innings to that guy. But I don't think he's going to do that after all. Oh, boy. All right. So Craig beat you. 
I started in 1991. I played every single game for three seasons, and we are now at the start of 1994. 0 2 to BGO. Oh dear god, I can't get anybody out anymore. Alright, FP Sant'Angelo. Runners on extremities? No out. Uh, if I can get a double play ball, that would be pretty good. Alright, 2 and 2. Oh, strikeout works too. Yeah, well, I'm. I want to do that as a stream mostly, so we can talk and everything, and discuss baseball, and you know, to have the time to go and look at that. If Jay's a fan of the A's and the Padres, so we can look at their lineup a little bit. We can look at the Dodgers for you too, because they, you know, they don't have the. 100% the real lineup. I can tell you right now, they have Greg Maddox, which was, you know, my favorite player in the MLB pretty much when I was growing up. All right. Let's see if we can do something. All right. So Undorf needs uh, either another strikeout. A double play ball would be perfect here. No count. Oh, snap through the first, but he's back safely. All right, I like that. Three and two. Oh, within dives. Oh, oh, they didn't even come to score. Okay, that's good. And then hopefully I can take care of Daryl Kyle, and then I can bring in Kerrigan in the eight. There you go. Yeah, Undorf never made it out of, like, A-Ball or something like that. I have a couple of those players on my team. Uh, I made it possible for that to happen because I'm letting the engine do the development. I'm not doing recalc. Uh, I like for surprises. So if you look in my lineup, if you look at number six, you're going to see Brett Barbary, right? Brett Barbary in real life, you know, was just a replacement player for a few years and then he was gone. But... He got a really good boost uh, in my universe, and he's pretty serviceable now. So I'm using him, and I'm not hating it. Makes it makes for a little bit different things of it. All right, so Calderon's at bat. He's hitting 667 so far this season. Gotta love the average, uh, you know, at like second game of the season. And he was hit. Yeah, he did, and I think then he played. Uh, uh, like for Anaheim or something like that. He, uh, he never made it, you know, that far or anything like that. But uh, in my universe, he developed a pretty good gap power, so he can hit some good doubles and everything. And Mark Witten, come on, bring us back into the game. Oh, double play ball. Okay, all right. We'll take it, no really. So yeah, there's only those little plays that still happen from time to time, not as often as they used to, where it looks like the guy is just not throwing the ball and everything, but it's a lot better than it used to be. Right, Charles Johnson, full count. Oh, all right. Two on, one out. All right, so Barbary is at bat. Come on, get it to prove what I just said about you. Three and one. Oh god. Well, now that's a double play. Alright, we're still down six three. Ugh. Alright, I'm gonna bring Kerrigan, which is another one of those guys that never made it out of uh Yeah. So Michael Kerrigan played one year in 1991, but he turned out as an okay left-hander for me, so we're going to be using him. Ha! Uh, I can't show you right now because... I'll show you after the after the game, or you can watch my video on YouTube. I explain what happened to Larry Walker, the, what would have been the worst trade in uh, MLB history if it would have been true. Now keep in mind, I'm just a manager. I don't do the trades. Yeah, 
Oh god. Infield it for Lawton. Alright, Bubby Abreu. <laughs> you don't have to, I'm just messing with you. Uh, but it's easier if I show you after the games, if I show you the player. Uh, the player just got sent down to Tripoli or whatever. Or I guess I can see it, it's, it doesn't matter. So, in June or July of 1991, the first year I started to play, Larry Walker was hitting like 370. He was a five star potential, four star player. He was like 22 or something like that. And the GM, the first GM I had was terrible. And that GM decided, you know what? Let's go ahead and try trade Larry Walker to the Cubs. And we're going to send them also Barry Jones and money for Russ McGinnis, who was a catcher. And, you know, in real life, he barely played. And I was like, what? <laughs> what the heck is that? So, McGinnis was a three and a half star potential at the time of the trade. Even then, it didn't make sense. And he ended up being just a two star player. For, and he plays mostly first base. So, it was a disaster of a trade. Walker is a full five star player. 5 2 player like he like he was in real life maybe even a little bit better so yeah <laughs> that was a terrible trade now the gm that i have now made uh, some trades that are better and everything but that first gm was uh, oh my god all right so bill doran two and two is it so kyle pitching No, it's Abion. Okay. John Abion. Oh, actually, he's been pitching for a little bit. I missed it talking. Ray Sanchez. Oh, that's a hit. Might be a double, even. <laughs> yeah, like I explained in the video that I made. I was at the point where I, I had so many house rules to kind of limit myself to not, you know, get too strong that it wasn't even fun anymore. So I, I decided, hey, you know what, I'm going to try just to be the manager and just try to play with whatever I'm given. And I fell in love with that mode, to be honest. But yeah, that trade really hurt. <laughs> it really sucked. Of course, you know, I'm a big... Uh, I'm a big... Larry Walker fan, of course, I was a you know exposed fan and everything. That that trade hurt, but I still have the Shields and Grissom. Of course, they're not you know as good as Larry Walker, but they're decent players. All right, so we're down to our last out here. Two outs, man on second, the, the Shields at bat, full count. Oh ho ho! All right, first and second, two out here in the top of the ninth. We're down three, Grissom at bat. Two and oh, come on, Grissom. First hit of the season comes at a pretty good time. All right, bases are full, Calderon's at bat. Two outs, one and one. That's a hit, oh, ho, ho, ho. Are we going to make that interesting? Uh, only one run scored, so. Yeah, Ivan Calderon had a resurgence uh, season for me last year. He had 98 run batted in. That was pretty good. All right, Mark Witten, Hardeden, Witten. Yes, Hardeden, Mark Witten for sure. Come on, man. No count. Nobody to put him. Oh. Uh, all right. Well, we we had some fight in that one, but my pitching is gonna be a problem. All right. Yeah, Darrow Cal pitched seven and a, and a third. All right. Let's take a look here. Oh, Terry Mulholland, I had him last year, and he's with the 
mother fudge tickling Mets. The Mets are so good. Yes, it was. I still have oil can Boyd in my uh, universe here. All right, Malalan tossed a shout out. So I had Malalan last year, but uh, we didn't keep uh, his services. All right, so we're one and one. Mets are two and zero. Oh. I'm gonna go ahead and just advance the day here, so that we can look at messages and everything. All right, so I didn't lose there. Those were on waivers and they've been sent down. So we just traded for Francis. Uh, sorry, we we claimed Francisco Cabrera from waivers from the the Braves. Yes, it did. And I'm not the biggest wild card fan, but I'm gonna tell you, after seeing the Mets and my division win 100 and 110 games a season. Uh, at least it might give me a chance. <laughs> All right, so my history. Uh, you want to look at the history from here? Or, or the history as, as me? Yeah, I know, but uh, in my universe, they made a lot of good choices. Just let me know what uh, what history it is you want to see. So yeah, it started uh, not that great. Then it got worse, and then last year we actually had a decent year, but we just couldn't catch up to the to the Mets and the cards. We were we were just a game behind the, the cards, I think. Did I get any Yeah, the, the Marlins fleeced us after the first day of the season. They claimed three of our players. I already don't have good... Uh... Is there a way that we can... Not sure if there's a, a way that we can. Now it's gonna show my record here. All right, FJ, we're gonna take a look at uh, all of you guys' teams. See which one it is that. Uh... All right, so let's start. Uh, let's start in the American League. We're gonna start by looking at the. Uh, A's for you. Uh, I can tell you already, uh, you have Barry Bonds, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's still there. Alright, so the A's... Uh, oh, that, dear God. That's, that's not bad at all. <laughs> I'm looking at that starting lineup there. Lenny Dykstra, Ken Seco... Pendleton, Barry Bonds, Mark McGuire. Of course, a lot of steroids in there. Luis Alicea, Phil Nevin, Sean Donston, and Kurt Abbott. Oh, Dennis Martinez is with the, the A's now. He was really not playing very well for me in the end, and he got injured most of last season. Okay, so six, uh, no, wait, uh, 72 and 90 then, okay. All right, so 
So that's the A's. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the Dodgers. All right, Dodgers have Jose Furman, Cal Daniels, Mike Piazza, Rick Carroll, Daryl Strawberry, Bobby Bonilla, Todd Allensworth, and Willis Atanias. But uh, yeah, that, uh, that rotation is not too bad. Greg Maddox, Bruce Erst, Pedro Martinez, Mark Mims, Ishmael Valdez, John Franco for the, side, the stopper. That's pretty good. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Willis Satanias did play, I believe, but not long. Yeah, he played for the for the Orioles and then a little bit for the Jays in real life. So it looks like the Dodgers are making him play a lot faster in the majors than he did in real life. Well, he's a three-star player. Looks like a well-rounded player too, I mean. Uh, he's gonna make some errors. Gonna take a look at the Padres. Yeah, it's uh, some limitations sometimes. San Diego didn't have a good season last year. I remember that. So let's see. Steve Sachs. Oh, there you go. Steve Sachs, Tony Fernandez, Tony Gwynn, Jerry Brooks, Oscar Azokar, Thomas Howard, Kevin Sizer, Jerry Willard. Andy Bennis, Anthony Mortensen, Ricky Bones, Arthur Rhodes, and Cal Eldred. I think it might be uh, a little difficult in San Diego again. <laughs> no, not much. Of course, they have Tony Gwynn. That's a uh, pretty sure, pretty sure bet. But yeah, uh, San Diego had some issues last year as well they had the, they had traded with philadelphia in my first season for darren dalton so they had darren dalton for as the catcher at least for a year or two that doesn't look like he's here anymore all right you guys want to see anything else here before i go ahead and start the next game against the against the astros bob tewksbury is going to be in on the mound for for them. And like I pointed out in the video that I made, uh, that's pretty funny that the Expos traded for Carl Pavano. Uh, and I mean, I d in the game we drafted Carl Pavano in real life, we traded for him. All right, perfect. So let's go ahead and uh, get started here. Oh, I'm showing as the Padres here. I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. All right, so the, the Astros are gonna send Bob Tewksbury and Carlos Perez is gonna be on the mound for us. Perez had a really good first season for us. As you can see, he was 15 and 10, pretty good. 388 ERA. I mean, for, you know, for a first season, that was not too bad. All right, let's get this thing going. I'm going to go ahead and uh, use a different lineup here. All right, so I think that's what I want to do. Let's see. I think I'm gonna sit Barbary. Uh, the thing is that Blankenship doesn't have a very good bat. So I think uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bat him eight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they would have the right logos in the baseball game. All right, let's see if I, 
if my call to use a sub for Barbary is gonna help here. Oh god. Yeah, that's zero four six against Tewksbury in his career. Oh he's you. There you go. That's the way to look at it. They're sending the exact same lineup that they sent for the first two games. Alright. Let's go. Boo Astros. Yes. And of course, you know, uh, Craig B. Joe is still a catcher in my in my universe here. All right, the Shields is gonna get us started in the first year. Tewksbury, well, Tewksbury shouldn't be walking many batters. One and two to the Shields. Oh, we're starting with a strikeout. That's not good. All right, Grissom. Come on, give us a two and one. All right, not a great start to the game here. All right, come on, Ivan. Oh, and two. Oh, opposite fly ball. And we're down one, two, three. That's the first time this season that my. The top of the order goes down one, two, three in the first inning. Yeah, Carlos Perez was was nice, but I, I think he had injuries or something, and his uh, his career kind of was derailed a little. He had a pretty good season, first season for me. Let's see what he does. Yeah, Lawton goes first, two and two to Lawton. That's the second time that it looks like Grissom drops the ball, but he actually catches it. All right, so one out, Bobby Abreu, no count. Ugh. Yeah, his career didn't last long. He was, I wouldn't say a flash in the pan, because I really think that it's because of injuries and you can't really control that, but uh, he, uh, he wasn't bad when he was healthy. And then, yeah, by the time he got to you guys, uh, that was pretty much done. All right, Luis Gonzalez with a guy on first. Two and one. Oh, come on. Ah. All right. Yeah, he didn't. I know. Full count. Oh, that's a base on balls. Bagwell draws the walk. Now they have two men on, two outs. Steve Finley, at least it's lefty on lefty. Come on, Carlos, bring me some of last year's magic here. Full count. Oh, pop fly. There you go. The Shields did the little bit of the moon dance to get there. He was just sliding. All right, Harded and Mark Witten. Come on, man. Two and one. Uh, I am playing with 162 game seasons. Yes. Uh... I do, but Sanchez is technically not my starter at shortstop. My starter got hurt in spring training and he's gone for a couple months. My starter is usually Willie Green. And I know that in real life he was more of a third baseman for Cincinnati. But in uh, for me, he played shortstop last year and he's pretty good defensively and he has power in his bat. He doesn't hit for a uh, very high average too but he was really good at shortstop for me so i have like witty green and then you know i have ray sanchez that's also pretty good or that i can plug at second if i need to but yeah yeah so right now sanchez and the shield is pretty good and if when i'm i get witty green back it's still gonna be good and i'm gonna have a little bit more pop in my lineup because ray sanchez doesn't have any pop in his bat Uh, I've been pretty lucky so far, FJ. Uh, I've been pretty lucky uh, with that so far. In uh, this, this is my fourth season. Of course, I've had injuries, but uh, 
Yes, he did. And he was playing third base for them. Uh, left bat with, with a little bit of power. Cool. Two outs already. All right, Mike Blowers. Uh, for me, it depends, but uh, so far, so good. Although I do have three guys on injured reserve right now for a long time, but none of them are, except for Woody Green, none of them are important guys on my lineup. <laughs> yeah, that happens, that's for sure. Full count, oh god, you shouldn't have swung at that. All right, so Lance Blankenship now. Not a great bat, but he can play about anywhere. I, can, I kinda like having him on my team for that. Very versatile. Carlos Perez can actually swing the bat for a pitcher. 0-1. Oh, that's I, and look at that guy. No urgency in his play. That's Bobby Abreu for you, just. <sighs> I'll be catching that anyway. Alright. So Tuxbury is at the plate now. Oh god, I'm gonna be walking him 3 0. Gotta hate walking the opposite pitcher. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, that's the thing is that, you know, that's the thing with uh, with injuries in this game is that when you play it, you're like, oh my God, there's way too many injuries and everything. I can't believe it. And then if you go and look at, at an actual, you know, MLB roster in real life, it's not that far off. I mean, it's pretty on point. There, there are that many injuries for in the MLB. Some teams sometimes are going to get lucky, but, you know. Oh, my God, another base on ball. Carlos Perez, where, where's last year's magic? What did you do in the offseason? Right, two men on, one out. We can still get out of that there with a, a double play or something. But, oh, God, three and one. Oof, might need to bring my uh, my long relief pitcher. Right, Carlos Bear has already 47 pitches. Can't throw a strike. Bagwell coming to the plate with the bases loaded. Yeah, I know. All right, let's see if he can get out of that jam. Full count. Oh dear God. Oh, I swear he was good last year. <laughs> All right, Steve Finlay. One and oh. Uh, didn't get the double play, at least we got one. Oh, somebody got hurt, but he can't stay in the game. Who was it? Oh, that might be why he didn't throw. Because I thought that he had plenty of time. And then I thought that it was because of the the play, but he got hurt. All right. At least he, he can stay. All right. So, if I can get BGO out, two runs is not the end of the world. Oh, and two. That's just not great. Just not great. Come on, FP, Santangelo, strike him out. Oh, dear God. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think I've seen enough. 
I don't like to yank my picture, my my pictures. Yeah, I don't like to yank my. Pi I don't like to yank my pictures that early, but I might not have a choice here. Yeah, I'm all for trying to be patient and everything. It's just not working. All right, I'm gonna bring my long reliever, which ironically used to play for the Astros. There you go. Hopefully you can eat up a few innings for me. So Jim Dehe is my pitcher right now. So in my so I started in 1991 and Jim Dehe got uh, injured in spring training of that year for the entire year. So he didn't pitch at all in 1991 in my universe. There you go. No, I have a good diversified offense and everything, but uh, you're right. I, I very rarely win 14 to 3 or anything like that. My wins are often with just four, four runs or something like that. All right, the shields. And he's out. All right, we still don't have a hit. Come on, man. Grissom, you're going to break that up. Full count. Nope, just a, another fly ball. Ivan Calderon. One and one to Calderon. Ugh. Tough game so far. The Astros are beating me. That's not good. Alright, Bob Tewksbury, so Jim De... I don't know how you would pronounce De in, uh, in English. That's kind of like a French last name, and I would pronounce it exactly the way that I'm pronouncing it in French. One and two. There you go, another strikeout. Matt Lawton, two and two. All right. So Day is coming in and he's doing exactly what I wanted. He's inning up some innings for me. Two and one. Oh, an error for Doran. Yeah, they have a pretty good lineup. I mean, if you look at that, Abreu, Gonzalez, Bagwell, Finley, Biggio, that's, you know, a pretty good core of players right there. I know Billy Darn playing first base for me. All right, Luis Gonzalez, 0-2. Strikeout, there you go. So the error doesn't come back to bite me in the butt. And we're still down 4-0, so, all right. Alright, somebody give me a hit. Two and two to Johnson. Struck out. Bill Darn. One and two. Come on, little guy. Oh. Yes, he did. And. Uh, we traded him to Florida for Randy Tomlin, and Randy Tomlin is hurt for a few more months. He got a torn rotator cuff last season, and I swear, when you know, I was like, okay, this is his last, but I'm gonna because I had a lefty. Uh, he was facing a lefty, and he's a left-handed pitcher, and I was like. All right, I'm going to pitch to that one last guy, and then I'm going to pull him, and then he tore his rotator cuff. So, uh, yeah, he's still not due for, like, another three months. Yeah, the former GM that I had traded a lot of our youth away. Yeah, I told you the first GM was a... I'm pretty sure he was a crackhead, to be honest. I mean, I saw his face.
Now, the one that we have right now looks like he's gonna be okay. He made better trades and everything, but yeah, the prior one traded the farm away. Alright, Steve Finlay, 2 and 1. I wouldn't know about that. I was never into doing drugs or anything, so. Maybe Montreal has good crack. I don't know. And I'm not gonna go ask a crackhead, so. Full count. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, the shields with the little sliding move again. Ooh. All right, Ray Sanchez, come on, man. All right, another it for Sanchez. He's been playing okay so far. Maybe I'm not taking him out of the lineup whenever Woody Green comes back. I can hear my cat whining to come in here. She just wants to be with her daddy. One and oh. Oh. Sanchez with the stolen base. All right. So we might be able to get something going here. Uh, no out. Man on second. Two and one. All right. There's uh, somebody on third now. I didn't. I have all of my. Uh, I just control the substitutions. I have all of my strategy set uh, for the team, and then individually for my players uh, to the way that I want them. So that kind of, kind of, let them have the green light and everything. So those of them that I want to steal, uh, I have more of the green light than the others. Yeah, I have a very passive style of play for. Uh, OOTP. It's been working for me. That's the most fun I've had playing this game in years, to be honest. And I understand it might not be the be best thing for everybody, but it works for me. Uh, I do not play in any online leagues right now. Uh, reason for that is uh, because of my employment i need to have certain securities on my server and it wouldn't allow ftp transfers uh, that's the most i can say about it sadly um i'm gonna go ahead and uh, i'm gonna let my cat in real quick because she's really whining pretty loud give me about 13.7 seconds Alright, sorry about that. And she's not in because my stepson felt sorry for her and he took her in. Alright, so I wanted for there to pitch a few innings. He did. If I want to run here, I'm gonna need to. God, I hate that. It's early in the game. Alright, we're gonna get to Rivera in here. All right, Rivera, get me a get me it. So you got, uh, you got out your first at bat. You got a uh, walk last time. Now is your first it. Nope, just a fly ball. Maybe a sack fly. Come on, come on, come on. Yep. All right, we're on the board. Sanchez scores the run. Rivera with the. Yeah, I did. I hate to take my long reliever out that early, but yeah, I needed that run. Come on, the shields. Yeah, that's a midfield single. All right, two outs. Grissom at the plate. No count. Oh, the shields going. Oh, God. 
the shields are struggling so far this is and I might need to uh, bring his uh, his steel bar down a little right who do I bring here I'm gonna ask for eat Ains to eat up a couple innings would be great Yeah, I'm the I'm the opposite way. Uh, like I explained earlier, I don't know if you were on the stream or not, but uh, I had so many house rules as a GM at one point that you know it wasn't even fun anymore, and I decided you know what I'm gonna try playing manager only. It's worked out for me. I I love it. Definitely challenging when you know your GM decides to trade away Larry Walker for peanuts. Two and two to Blowers. Oh. Yeah, JT Dutch, I I know, but I also know you. I know that you like to have players that play, you know, for that for that team on the team and everything. So the way that I play probably wouldn't suit you uh, the way that you would like. But, like you said, there's a million different ways to play this game, and there's not a there's not a, there's not a wrong way to play as long as you're having fun. I mean, it's not it's not like I'm 12 and I need to do what all of my friends are doing, or else I feel like I don't belong or something, you know. So, oh, and two to Grissom. Yeah, Grissom. <laughs> Last year, Grissom started really slow as well, and then he started to get hits, and he still finished first in the MLB for his stolen bases, but uh, he's having problems right now. And let's face it, I'm not playing this because I want to... Uh, you know, become super popular and make a whole bunch of money or anything like that. Uh, I'm playing the wrong game for that, I think. But, uh, I mean, it's all about having fun and everything. And we can talk about baseball and stuff. And that's fun. Yeah, Witten has been having a really poor game. Alright, so Ains did okay so far. So I'm going to keep him in there. Let's see if he can give me another hitting here. Three and one. And of course, uh, a walk. Bobby Abreu. No, it's been pretty quiet for this game. Oh, Johnson struggled with the ball. That doesn't happen very often. Johnson is really good defensively. Win two. All right, we're gonna get that out. But now there's only one out with a man on third, so I need either a ball hit really hard at somebody or a strike out. No, no count on Gonzalez. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, that works, I guess. We're setting up for the double play with Bagwell. Oh god, yeah. Throw a sinker. So do you have a sinking ball at least? Yeah, you do. Alright. No count on Bagwell. Didn't work. You win some, you lose some. Alright. On the extremities, one out. Yeah, my pitching is gonna kill me this season. Unless... There's a a few changes made. All right, Charles Johnson here at the top of the eight. Full count. Yeah, that's not my game. Tewksbury still on the mound. Why not? You know, only allowed two uh, two hits. I know. 
I remember when I was a kid, I was really amazed by Tewksbury. I would like get the newspaper to look at how many walks he had allowed that season and everything because he just wouldn't walk nobody. That was very impressive to me. I was young and new to baseball and I didn't really knew the like the notion of pitch to contact and everything. So Oh man, I might have seen you at Stade Olympique then. Are you from Montreal or did you just happen to go there? Yes, I speak French. Well, not right now, but uh, French is my first uh, first language. I used to go to the expos in Montreal all the time, even though I was three hours away from Montreal. I miss the Expos too, I really do. I really do. You're from the Eastern Townships for real? That's where I'm from. <laughs> I was... Uh, my hometown is about an hour away from Sherbrooke. Yes, sir. I'm guessing it's sir since I see Kev. Yeah, that would be great if the Expos could come back indeed. All right. Where was I? Okay. Now you pitch your two innings. I'm going to pull you. I'm going to bring John Doris. He didn't play well in the first game. Hopefully he can change that. I don't play as the GM, I play as manager only, so the computer and those trades for me and everything, and yes, uh, the computer has made a lot of <clears throat> bad trades. <laughs> really, can I ask where? Uh, where you're from, 30 minutes away from, 35 minutes away from Sherbrooke? Santangelo, full count. Gotcha. Richmond. One and two. There you go. All right, that last chance. We need four runs here. Tewksbury still on the mound. He only pitched 100 pitches. Yeah, I remember, I remember as a kid, the first time that I went to see a baseball game, I had only seen baseball on TV and everything, and I I had a hard time just tracking the ball, like the different distances, and I had a hard time figuring out if it was a liner or, you know, a, a fly ball and everything. We didn't have very good seats, maybe that's, that's why. Of course, I went to baseball many times after that, and I it was a... But uh, actually, you know what? I think you're right. I'm gonna go ahead and change Blankenship. He was, he's uh, he's my utility player. But I think I'm gonna bring Barbary. I need uh, I need a bat here. No, they're not. But uh, he can play almost every position. So I like him for that. But he's not there for his bat. That's for sure. There you go, Barbary with the hit. Now that's my pitcher, so of course I'm going to change him. All right, I think I'm going to go with Mark Davis. Not a great player, but, you know, better than Tadini or Tony Pena. Two and one. Oh. All right, at least. Oh, okay. Santangelo got hurt, but he remains in the game. All right, the line of the shields. Come on, man. 0-1. Oh, oh, snap through the first. 
he's first thing uh, he's safe thank god one and one nope we're down to our last out fellows or folks or y'all since where i live Oh, infield it for for Grissom. All right. Well, if Calderon, all right. So they're bringing ABN back. So if Calderon can get a good it here, we might be able to come back. Uh, I know. Uh, I know that they were talking about that. Oh, Calderon struck out. We lost. Um. They did talk about that. Um, I read yesterday or the day before that um, Bronfna, Bron, uh, yeah, I can't say his name, but uh, the guy that's in charge of trying to bring the Expos back uh, has been asking for uh, potential money from the, well, not the state, but from the province and everything so it's th there's still talks but uh, there's a lot of, it's it's hush hush a lot we don't hear a whole lot about what's going on over there all right so we won the first game of the series against the astros but the last two games uh, we lost so we're gonna need to uh, wake up the offense a little all right and we have a day off already all right sounds good Oh yeah, so my injuries are here. So Witty Green is hurt. Two more months. He did hit 22 home runs in his rookie season last year. 70 RBIs. That's not bad, but uh, he strikes out a lot. Uh, but he's pretty good defensively. So Then Randy Tomlin, which is the guy that we traded Rondell White for. He's really not all that great. He's still out for seven weeks. And then we uh, sign uh, Mark Gubi Gubisa uh, in the off season, and he got hurt in training uh, in spring training. So I'm from Lac Megantic, where you know where the train exploded, and I was there on vacation when that happened, and it really sucked. The only way. Yeah, that's the only way I agree. Might want to, uh, they also might want to uh, check back on the divisions because if they bring the Expos back, to me it would make a lot more sense if they're in the American East. Uh, they have a lot more, you know, you have a lot more uh, rivalries with Toronto, Boston, you know, from hockey and everything. To me it would make more sense, but, you know. <laughs> and I agree. A new uh, solid ownership and a, a real good ballpark is absolutely needed. Yes, I, I agree. The huge toilet seat doesn't do it anymore. Oh, what's going on now? Oh my god, Rick Mahler is back! No! No! Why are you doing this to me? Oh boy. Alright, so... Actually, Rick Mahler is the guy we traded to Oakland for Lance Blankenship, the guy that had the poor bat, but that's a utility player. We traded Rick Mahler. Rick Mahler was really bad for us, as you can see, for two years. We shipped him to, uh, to Oakland, and apparently we picked him back up. Nah, I mean, the, no, they can't. It's uh, At this point, it's, it might even be a hazard. Oh, all right, so that guy was sent down. That's fine, I guess, but Rick Mahler, come on. Forty years old Rick Mahler. He's probably not gonna strike out anybody with 29 stuff. Oh. Well, that water bottle is empty. We're gonna 
go ahead and finish the day. Oh, Arthur Rhodes pitched uh, in a one nothing shutout. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Arthur Rhodes was mostly a reliever, but uh, he started with a lot of stamina in my save. So he's a starter. Kent Herbeck slams Milestone Homer. 300 homers for Kent Herbeck. Cool. I, I like it so far. I didn't know Rick Mahler played for the Braves before. That that must have been before I started to watch baseball. Uh, I like uh, all of the Park Baseball 22 so far. I like the changes they made to 3D. I think it looks good. Uh, not a big fan of the buttons, so um, I'll show you in a second what I mean. Uh, Chipper Jones out for five to six months. I hate to say that, but that's going to help us. Chipper on injured reserve for quite a while now. Of course, the Braves just moved into the same division as us here. So I'm not a fan of the buttons. Like, is it here? Oh god. Yeah, like, um, no. Where was it? I think it's in game. Like when you're in a game, I don't like the how the button the buttons look. To show like the the tiredness and everything that, that looks weird to me all right i'm gonna go ahead and save the game and i actually think i'm gonna go ahead and stop here for today uh I know I have a few people watching and everything, and I do appreciate it, even if not everybody's been talking and everything. Uh, you don't have to, you never have to, but uh, it's nice for you to be here. Um, I'm going to be streaming this game regularly. Thing is, is that I don't do that on a set schedule, so I'm sorry for that. Uh, best way for you to be notified when I go live is to, uh, is to follow me on Twitch. That's probably the best way. I'm not forcing anybody to follow me or anything. I'm just saying it's the easiest way. And for those of you that like Aki, uh, JT Dutch, who's in the chat right now, and me are going to be resuming our uh, Franchise Aki Manager 7 live streams together. So that is going to be on a schedule. And we're going to be back uh, this coming Monday at... Uh, 4 central time to California time, which means 5 eastern time or thereabouts. Uh, so feel free to join for that. Uh, it's, uh, it's always fun to do that as well. Uh, I love doing those with somebody. Uh, I put, uh, well, I put like, you know, like I have full control of him, but uh, JT Dutch joins me in my Discord channel and uh, I let him uh, go through my computer so that we can hear what he has to say as well. He has a lot of input on Aki as well. He's one of the only person I've met in my life that's as knowledgeable about Aki as me and me maybe even more. So that's pretty impressive. So if you like uh, Aki, uh, feel free to join for that. Uh, and I'm, of course, going to continue to do all of the park baseball. I've been having a blast doing that tonight and see that people were engaging a little bit and everything. That's awesome. So, yeah, I want to thank you for tuning in as usual. And for those of you who are watching me on YouTube, if you've liked the video, feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, all of that good stuff. And until I roll this game again, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.